Genesis. Weird. Yeah. First 219 and what's PG? Ghatam Jalam Tad Gatabar Kabimbam. Vihaya Sarvam Bini Rikshatir Kaha. Tatasta Yete Tatayava Vasaka. Soyam Prakasho Vidushaya Tatata. Deham diyam chit prativim mamevam. Visrujya buddho nihitam guhayam. Drashtara matma namakhanda bodham. Sarva Prakasam Sadasad Vilakshanam Nityam Vibhum Sarvagatam Susukshmam Antar Vahishunyamanam Vijnaya Samyak Nijarupa Metat Uman Vipapma Virajo Vimrutyuho The verses are so beautiful, huh? you must, as you are chanting it, you must feel the meaning of it. And that is the ultimate fulfillment of the teaching. For the name immediately points out the nameless. The whole existence, the entire universe is nameless. You see that point. Nothing is born with a name. Nothing has a name tag attached to it. Only human beings add a name to the object. And when you are giving a name, nothing is added to the object. Please understand these principles. When you are giving a name to an object, nothing is added to the object. And the name is forgotten the object continues to exist. Names are created by us, the human beings, more for our transaction. And that is why you cannot afford to hold on to the name, but always be interested in the meaning of the word. Because the words are used not for the sake of the words, but for the sake of the meaning. Whether you say in English, please come here. In Tamil Lingavanga, in Tamil Hindi, Idarao, Uriya Ithagwaso. So many languages, but all the languages convey only one thing giving you a direction, come here. So the reason for using a word is to convey the meaning and not to hold on to the words. That is where when the teacher or anybody points out something to you with his finger, you don't look at the tip of the finger. You look at the direction in which the finger is pointed. And they call it in Sanskrit, Sakha Chandra Nyaya. Your logic 
where the first day, second day moon, which is usually invisible in the western sky. When you're trying to point out that moon to somebody or a little star in the evening, right away a person may not be able to see it. So you show him the tree, the biggest branch, between the branches, you ask him to look on. So the branch is used to show you the star, not to create the star. Understand? The branch is used to show you the star and not to create the star. If you stick to the tree and the branches, you will not see the star. Words are used to point the wordless, nameless being that you are. If you hold on to the words, you will not understand anything. That is why scholarship becomes a huge load. Like the example I've given you a donkey. Bharasya Vaha Natu Chandanasya. One who carries the load of the sandalwood, but never enjoys the fragrance of the sandalwood, even though he is blessed with the biggest nose. The donkey, same way. Somebody can carry the load of information inside. But there is no fragrance in living. There is no celebration. When you appreciate yourself who you are, your living becomes a celebration. A seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, experiencing everything. But at the same time, never ever losing yourself in so-called sensations or experience. All the thoughts are used, but at no time a thought ever victimizes you. Because a thought has no power to enslave you, understand? You become a slave of an object. Object doesn't enslave you. I told you so many times, please think it sometimes. You create a habit out of a cigar. Cigar doesn't invoke that habit in you. Not knowing how to experience something, you could become obsessed with some food or maybe a touch or a taste or a smell, a word or a description. Like people becoming enslaved or obsessed by an idea. A fanatic is one who sticks to an idea, holds on to that idea. Holding on to that idea, the person finds certain solace, comfort. If you touch that idea, it will destroy you. That is why the so-called Non-believers are not great people because the believers, if they hold on to a belief, the non-believer finds solace in disbelief. If you challenge the believer of the belief of the believer, they feel challenged. If you challenge the disbelief of the non-believer, he also feels challenged. That is why you cannot afford to depend upon anything. That is the celebration, freedom. Every moment you are happy with yourself. Unconditional celebration. It doesn't depend upon a reason. The sun should shine, it should be spring or winter or rain. Understand. That is for your convenience and inconvenience. Appreciate. If the rain comes, there can be agriculture. There is no rain, drought. There's nothing to do with your happiness or unhappiness. That point must be seen. Your physical body is living, alive. You're as much immortal as even the body is dying. Because the nature of the body is, it must change. 
you may be the god incarnate himself what are those bodies pictures are left out like any other person understand so see it very clearly words are meant to be used to convey the meaning as even examples are also like words an example doesn't create the truth are you getting that point please an example doesn't create the truth with an example you attempt to convey the truth and here the example is ghatamas ghata pratibimba where he says that uh, yeah ghatam jalam tad ghatam arkabimbam ghatam jalam tad ghatam arkabimbam the pot the water and the reflection of the sun in the water these three things buddha the deluded considers the reflection itself as the original sun water is disturbed reflection is disturbed water is muddy reflection is muddy he doesn't understand that in the sun there is no reflection no water no mud pot and to see the sun you don't need to change any of these three appreciate exactly same way example the gross body of a mud pot in which the water of the subtle body catches the reflection of consciousness that is why if this is unconscious the table is unconscious the book is unconscious because it doesn't have the not that there is no consciousness but there is no expression of consciousness because there is no subtle body in the gross body so that is the difference between a gross book and a individual are you getting that if you bury the body ha eh, if you bury the body and the tree the wood the table and the book everything will be mud body will not be holy mud ha eh? tree will be you know are they in that the table or the books will be useless mud no same mud but while living i am using the book because there is a subtle body and the table is there to be used lucky because it doesn't have a subtle body if the table has a subtle body once in a while you will complain why you are putting your book always on me why can't i put my leg on you for a change ah headache that is how the headache will be said so lucky that these fellows don't have a subtle body <laughs> there is no subtle body but don't say there is no consciousness are you getting that point please there is no subtle body but there is don't say there is no consciousness that is there consciousness is existing that is a reflection is possible where there is a subtle body that is why in human being the reflection is possible even dogs animals also reflection is possible but because of the upadhi in a human body you can be self conscious in dogs body you cannot be self conscious other than human body there is no other body that can be self conscious even child also is not self conscious that is why the self consciousness ahankar i you develop in time the child doesn't know he is the prince other people may respect him but he doesn't know later on when he knows 15 16 year old suddenly he become aware i am the prince or i am the richest i am the son of the poor man or rich man suddenly complexes start coming up because the i thought has come up that is the ahankar i thought reflection 
So he starts suffering. If the condition of the body is old, I am old. Body is young, I am young. Body is healthy, I am healthy. Body is diseased, I am diseased. Dehe pushte, aham pushta. Body is nourished, I am nourished. Dehe nashte, aham nashta. Body is gone, I am gone. Sansargans aging, I am aging. Thoughts are changing, I am changing. That is why it suffers. Only when this suffering begins, your search for solution begins. That is why, as a human being, when you suffer, you are a lucky man. That is the beginning of your search for the absolute. Without your brush with immortality, you shall not look for immortality. Because you are affected by death, you are looking for deathlessness. Are you getting that? That eye comes up. And when this eye comes up, wants to know about himself, it is the reflection, meaning the meaning of the word I. Aham pratyaya gochara. Remember that line is like a mantra. Aham pratyaya gochara. You are meaning of the word I. And that is what we do all the time in life. We are using the meaning and not the words as such. Words are used to convey the meaning. Like water is used to carry the, I am sorry, the glass is used to carry the water. You don't drink the glass, you drink the water. The glass of a word or a name carries the water of the meaning. You drink the water, remove the glass. You take the meaning, drop the words. So which word is holy? Which word is capable? Any word is capable if you know how to pass on the load. That is why teacher. <laughs> One who understands the truth clearly, he can use any word, any stupid thing, any example, any joke, any useless thing as the ultimate. Nothing remains impure. Everything is sacred. Everything is beautiful. Every word you can use. Also, you don't need to use any word. Understand? So, one hey person sees the truth for himself. What does he see? Deham dhyam chat pratibhimbam etam Visrujya buddho nihitam guhayam Buddho visrujya now, you give it up where it belongs. Let the body be where the body is. Thought is where the thought is. I thought is where the I thought is. Now, you see yourself. What is that one? The meaning of the word I, which is drashtaram atmana akhanda bodham atmanam drashtaram akhanda bodham vigyaya vipapma virajo vimrutu having known him, he becomes virajah, bigata rajo yasmat, the dukham, restlessness goes away, rajas. There is no more restless because you find your home. Very beautiful language, Vashishta tells to Rama, O Lord. Kadaham visrantim neshyami meru shrunga iba ambuda. Meru shrunga ambuda iba. As even the clouds, when they are floating, when they reach the peak of the mountain, they settle down. Eternity in front, nowhere to move. When shall I find that type of restfulness? I have done all that is to be done, reached everything to be reached, achieved everything to be achieved, nothing to add or subtract anymore. Vishranti. Fulfilled in himself, Viraja. Vipapma, no papa. No punya. From the standpoint of absolute, punya also is a papa. <laughs> Relatively, there is good bad. But from the absolute standpoint, even good also is bad. Ten year is good or hundred year is good. Between the ten and hundred year, ten year may be good or hundred year good. Depends on what you are talking about. Ten years life is not that good. Hundred years of life is very good. But ten years of imprisonment is very good, not hundred years. So your living is imprisonment or a pleasure? 
I want to live hundred years as a prisoner, or you want to celebrate living? So, from the absolute standpoint, the eternity, relative, long and short, good or bad, right and wrong, completely goes away. That is why this man absolutely free. Kurvan na pi na karo di, Kurvan na pi na lipya di. Api chet, you know, there is a Shankara, there is a Krishna, says in Bhagavad Gita, when you come and you listen to that, you say that all PhD stuff. Api chet, sudura achar, bhajate ma mananya vahak, sadhureva samantabhya samyak bevasito isha. Hey Arjuna, suppose there is a person, api chet, sudura achar, even if he is a fellow, he is durachar, durachar means man of bad conduct. Sudurachar means PhD in bad conduct. Sudurachar. Even if the fellow is a PhD in bad conduct, maam ananyavhag bhajate chet, if he sees me as his own self, maam ananyavhag, bhagavata anyamna vidyate, ananyas chintayantoh maam. He sees there is only one God, one reality, one truth, and that is myself. As a person, Sadhureva Samantabhya, even though the fellow behaves stupid, understand he is a sadhu, great noble soul. Samyak Bhavasita Isha, why? Because he is very well established in the truth, the absolute. Then you can ask a question. Aha, so the fellow is very well established, also can be naughty and mischievous, do some wrong things. Listen, he may do it now. Bhagavan doesn't give a sanction to that. Kshipram bhavati dharmatma satswa santi nigachati. Don't brand. Don't condemn such a person. Kshipram dharmatma bhavati in too small period of time. Quickly dharmatma bhavati becomes wonderful. Why? Such a person cannot continue to do nonsense. Because he is aware of what he is doing. Satswa santi nigachati. He gains the absolute peace. Arjuna pratijani hi nave bhakta pranasyadi. Hey Arjuna, go and declare unto the world. Pratijani hi pratigyam guru. Go and declare unto the world. Nave bhakta pranasyadi. My devotee never perishes. Meaning, never falls into wrong ways. That is the idea. That is why instead of analyzing other people's bad conduct and wrong behavior, you better look at yourself. Why is he, after 20 years of listening also, he is behaving like that? What is your problem? What is your problem? If that is how that person is, that is how his life, her life, they will take charge. What is your problem? You think for yourself. Do, does it mean something to you? Am I here to get the knowledge for myself or for others' sake? That is why when you study for others' sake, when I study this, I can go and teach. Don't waste your time. When you leave this, L-I-V-E, not L-E-A-V-E. When you leave this knowledge, your teaching is most effective. When you talk, nobody listens. Do you know why? Look at the animals. Do they, does any animal teach by speaking, speaking or by demonstration? The entire animal world. Are you getting that point? Nobody can speak. They teach by demonstration, not by lengthy speeches. Human being can give long speeches on morality, long speeches on anger, hatred, jealousy, and the same rascal will be doing every rubbish. That is why it is such a mistake. Absolutely honest with yourself. Honest with yourself. I'm a happy man, happy man. I'm unhappy, unhappy. Don't pretend to be happy. The moment you pretend, you pay through your life. It's like a poor man pretending to be rich. Already poor, to pretend to be rich, he has to further impoverish himself. A rich man can pretend to be poor. Are you getting that? A noble soul can pretend to be a rascal. But if a rascal pretends nobility, ah. <laughs> Wise man can pretend to be an idiot, but a useless fellow pretend to be wise. 
the whole life is finished that is why you have to watch out be absolutely honest virajo vimrutti ho free from mortality and death knowing himself atmanam drashtaram akhandabodham living these three things the reflection the thoughts of the water and the bird body mud part of a body which he sees himself atmanam drashtaram is a name given to it atma drashta akhanda bodha all these are names by chance by chance you don't remember a name that does not mean you forget yourself by chance are you getting that by chance you forget a name do you forget the self in your hand is your mala and somebody asks what is the name of the thing you are holding suppose you don't remember the name does the mala get angry and disappear <laughs> you don't remember my name i am not no more in your hand If you forget a name, you just forget the name, but the nameless is ever existing. That is why this knowledge is so easy. <laughs> When is the date, or day, or the year in which Akbar was ruling? He ascended the throne. How many of you remember? All of you read history. Do you remember? Not worth remembering also. It doesn't matter if ruled or not ruled. Why should he rule? Why should I remember? Huh? <laughs> okay, sixteen hundred and five. This thing, sixteen hundred and five. Oh, brilliant! You forgot? Stupid, right? Who are you? If you can't give yourself a name, you don't disappear. Give it a name, communicate. Getting that point, please. You must see this aspect, or else you will be a gadha, who will carry the load of words useless in life. That is how you see all over pandits, sastris. I told you the other day, example. the individuality the i reads shastra becomes a shastri read physics physicist read mathematics mathematician read history historian music musician dance dancer art artist study shastra shastri another role not gyani to be a gyani you need to understand only one word aham just one word others are elaborations understand the nature of the body nature of the mind world so we can very efficient driver in life but you are always aware of yourself thus remember this every word points on akhanda sarva pragasam सद सद विलक्षण सर्व प्रकाशम इट इज द वन विच इलुमिन्स एवरीथिंग नथिंग रिमेन्स अन इलुमिंड वेकिंग ड्रीम डीप स्लीप ऑल द थ्री स्टेट जागृत स्वप्न सुजुत्तिषु स्फुटतरम यमुजृंभते दैट विच कंटिन्युअसली शाइनिंग ऑल द थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेट्स अखंड बोधम सर्व प्रकाशम विच सत असत विलक्षण अदर दैन दी सत एंड असत अदर दैन सत विच इज एंड अगेन विच इज नॉट जस्ट इट एग्जांपल फ्लावर इज आईज आर 
Flower is not? Eyes are. So the eyes are not dependent on the flower. Eyes are, flower is. When the flower is not, eyes are. So from the standpoint of the flower, eyes are sadasad vilakshana. This is sat, this is asat. Flower is sat. Flower is not asat. Eyes exist. Okay. Eyes are your mind, thought is. Now your eyes close, thought is. So eyes are sat. Eyes are not asat. In relation to your eyes, the mind is sadasad vilakshanam. It is other than is and is not. Thought is you are consciousness. Thought is not still you are. You are other than the sat asat vilakshana. Other than this, that is and is not yourself. So everything comes within the realm of sat asat, opposites, pairs of opposites. Is, is not, is, is not, is, is not. Yourself can't say anything. If you say is, it is a thought. If you say is not, also is a That's why after some time you have to keep quiet. You can't do anything about it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Learn it, learn it. Then pick up the words. Why? Communicate. 570 words, verses. Hmm? Gita, Upanishad. Why? Because when you understand that it cannot be talked about, talking, writing, reading becomes a celebration. Are you getting that? When you don't depend upon thing, that something becomes a luxury item. Are you getting that? The moment you depend, it's a pain. <laughs> it's no more luxury. Are you getting that? Luxury is something without which you can live. Necessity is something without which you cannot live. That is why in modern times, people have gone into trouble because how many luxuries you have converted to necessity. What is the sign of prosperity? Sign of prosperity is how many luxuries you have converted to necessity. You cannot go without a car, you know. Uh -huh. Luxury has become necessity. You cannot live without pizza and ice cream, you know. Oh, luxury has become necessity. Right? Cannot live without air conditioning. Luxury has become necessity. Cannot live without a particular food. Understand. Food is not luxury. Types of food is luxury. If you, if you don't eat food, you die. If you don't eat Chinese food, do you die? So food is a luxury. Now come to your physical so-called desire, sex. Luxury or necessity? Come on. Luxury or necessity? Luxury. Why? Without which nobody is dead. Poor thing died. What happened? Three days, no sex. <laughs> Understand? Are you getting that? Nobody dies. Or else all of us will be died, dead by the time we are 15, 16 year old. Because until 15, 16, none of us think about it. Even if today children are more precocious, seven year old, so they are thinking. The seven year they survived, no? No, no, you must think in those terms. Because they are not, yeah, 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 yeah. your head will be spinning and um, physically. Oh. Yeah, it's not I am telling you, you know. You may be thinking Swamiji is very, very, always talking, you know, very openly. You know. He is too smart. I am not smart. All the Acharyas, you cannot believe. Everybody has dealt with it. Original teachers have talked about it. In between the fellows hide it. That is the trouble. Krishna says very clearly. Karmendriyani shayamya yaste manasa smaran 
ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥಾನ್ ವಿಮೂಢಾತ್ಮ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಚಾರ ಸೌಚ್ಯತೆ ವೈಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅವೇ ಬಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಸಂಯಮ್ಯ ಕಿಪ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಲೀಸ್ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಅಸ್ತೆ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಸೆಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಸಂಯಮ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ಕಮನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ವಾಕ್ ಪಾಣಿ ಪಾದ ವಾಯು ಉಪಸ್ಥ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಕ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಣಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾದ ಫೀಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಯು ಅನಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಉಪಸ್ಥ ಜೆನಿಟಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಜ್ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಸಂಯಮ್ಯ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪಾಣಿ ಪಾದ ಪಾಯಿ ಉಪಸ್ಥ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಸೆ ಐಜ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಂಗ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ because eyes ear tongue they see from outside so the eyes do not create a problem for you are you getting that point are you understand that eyes ear skin their sense organs gyanendriya they take the world onto you that is why your sense organs are not a problem you express the world into the you express your you express yourself into the world through your organ of action you see the tiger leg runs you see the kosu masa mosquito <coughs> and heats they are the expression somebody tells you something who you start shouting and talking you are lashing out what are you using your words are you getting that and what is the attraction upastha sex sensation so keeping these five sense organs and five organs of action intact even the sense organs sometimes you use as an organ of action like your eyes see ears hear ears hear something hey you stupid your eyes hear. no your to with your eyes are you getting that your eyes also speak sometimes you can use that so when you do that manasa smaranaste so keeping the sense organs of action under control manasa smaranaste what is that luxury has become a necessity ha huh. very quiet alone sitting down thinking of what everybody else what bhagavan says mithyachara sauchyade this fellow is a hypocrite sitting down alone but not enjoy the aloneness lonely inside sitting alone you are lonely inside in a crowd you are alone wisdom alone you are lonely aha uh-huh. <laughs> ignorance Are you getting that point, please? When you appreciate yourself, who you are, everything is luxury. Your living also is a luxury. Why? Your existence doesn't depend upon the existence of the body. The whole living becomes a luxury. so he says very nicely sadasad vilakshanam and how it is nityam vibhum sarvagatam sukshmam nitya eternal vibhu visheshena bhati shining all times in all places sarvagatam sukshmam all pervasive subtler than the subtlest all different standpoints subtler than the subtlest the grossest object your subtle your mind is more pervasive the subtler it is understand the subtlety innerness and pervasiveness are related gross is outer less pervasive subtle is inner and more pervasive 
कंशियसनेस सटलेस्ट इनर मोस्ट एंड मोस्ट परवेसिव ऑल परवेसिव देर इज नथिंग अदर दैन इट कंशियसनेस अंतर्वही शून्यम अनन्यम आत्मनम विज्ञाए दैट इज अंतर्वही शून्यम फ्री फ्रॉम इनसाइड आउटसाइड ऑल परवेसिव आत्मानम विज्ञाए दैट इज ऑल परवेसिव नेचुरली हैज टू बी मी आई कैंट एस्केप द टच ऑफ द इन्फिनिटी knowing that virajo vipap mahabhimrutu he is free from agitations dukha papan punya and no more touched by changes or mortality that is where you consider you see yourself shivoham shivoham i am the speciousness the shiva nataraja the dance of immortality in the realm of mortality But the body is perishing. I'm imperishable reality. Thought is changing. I'm the changeless absolute. So be the changeless. Enjoy the changes. Be the immortal. Leave mortality for some time. Okay. I'm going to do this. Now he says further. Please read. Vishoka ananda ghano bi paschite. स्वयं कुतिन्नभिभेति कशि नान्योस्ति पंथाभवंद मुक्ते विनाशतवागम मुमुक्षो विशोकानंद घनो भी पश्चित स्वयं कुतिन्न विभेति कशि नान्योस्ति पंथाभवंद मुक्ते विनाशतवागम मुमुक्षो सो इटली नाउ टेल्स द स्टूडेंट मुमुक्षो दिस ज्ञान विना स्वतत्व अवगम्य विना मुक्ति ही नास्ति वन हुई डिजायर ऑफ सर लिबरेशन दर सल बी नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लिबरेशन विदाउट नोइंग वन ओन सेल्फ because your self is already liberated freedom comes because of the ignorance i mean bondage comes because of the ignorance when you take yourself to be the physical body body has no sense of bondage but when you say i am the body you drag the bondage of the body onto yourself so to discover the freedom you don't change the body you know yourself who no more jumps into the identity with the body are you getting that how nothing needs to be changed only yourself to be known to understand why in the name of religion the world should be persecuted god only knows huh? you commit the mistake body gets the punishment huh? what is your jurisprudence says let thousand criminals escape but let not one innocent be punished but do you know what we are doing in our life only punishing the punishing the innocent punishing the body what did the what mistake the body did that you are punishing the body if your body is going through difficulties it is because of your mindless indulgence or mindless denial right or wrong you persecute the body or body is persecuting you think 
most of the time diseases come just because we don't know how to handle the body is not the body's mistake body has its limitation it will grow old you like it or not it is continuously growing but how will it grow old depends on you how much you over it or you starve you push it into unnecessary adventures then if your body fails you don't blame the body body is innocent don't torture the body but most of the time what do we do i want to test my strength and i punish the body panchagni vidya some day somebody will do panchagni vidya panchagni vidya means no fire left side fire right side fire front fire back from the top sun also is shining hot sun of the mid summer why because you want to see your tolerance why are you torturing the body for it you know you can't believe when i am telling you bhagavad gita i read krishna so nicely say buddha evam ajanantah karshayantam sarirastham mam mam sarirastham karshayanta torturing me in this physical body ajanantah not knowing who i am not knowing who he is he tortures himself in this body when the body you torture who feels tortured but the person says i want to stand apart yes why because you have as though uh, enjoyed yourself in all the so called experiences of eating overeating doing something so now you want to deny it to know that reality i am not eating body is being fed so it is doing like a prayaschit you know it's like a atonement as though i indulged now i deny but both the times poor body suffers if you are intelligent enough to recognize this you don't have to go through this tortuous path not necessary understand so there is very beautiful research there is no other way out except by knowing yourself but in the name of liberation if you are practice oriented chant this sing this hug this do this hold your nose stand on your tail eh you will be lost in those things the real purpose is forgotten therefore he says when you see what up vishoka ananda ghano vipaschite swayam swayam ananda ghana swayam vishoka vipaschit one who is discriminative aware of himself knows that ananda ghana you are absolute densely blissful ananda ghana there is nothing other than the bliss this means you are just being with yourself being with yourself is not a sensation do you know why people wait for enlightenment because they have been waiting for sensation space is not a home reading that book space is not an exotic home air pure air is not an exotic fragrance pure water colorless odorless tasteless gulab jal rose water oh very exotic what is the content from the rose water take the rose water out 
Are you getting that point, please? Essential realities are not exotic. Simple stuff. Simple. Very, very simple. Commonplace stuff. Immortality is commonplace. Mortality, exotic. Youth is exotic. Passes. A dream is exotic. Passes. Are you getting that point, please? What is exotic about hungerlessness? Nothing. Satisfying the hunger, very exotic. Right? In how many ways you can satisfy your hunger? What all things you need? Appa. How many varieties of food? There are varieties of food to satisfy your hunger. And how many types of hungerlessness you enjoy? <laughs> hungerlessness is one. Whether you satisfy the hunger of a touch or a taste or a smell, food or this. Satisfaction is one kind. There is nothing exotic about it. Always yourself. Nanyo stipanta bhavavandha mukte. There is no other way out to get out of this apparent bondage of the creation. Understand, it is not the creation which is in bondage. You tie yourself down. Morning I told you, no? when a student goes to a teacher and says, please make me free. The teacher says, show me your bondage. Show and I will free you up. Hands are tied, untied. Legs are shackled, unshackled. Car is locked, I'll open it for you. Nothing. You are simply hanging around. Freely hanging around. So what is your bondage? I'm bound by the body. You are bound by the body or you allow the body to bind you. Come on. What is the statement they give? I am bound by the body. I am bound by the family. Which bound by the family? Which family binds you? No, no, my wife holds on to me. Are you pasted together? Pavical? I eh? am a householder. Me and the house pasted together. Powerful pavical. <laughs> Are you getting that point? Your one thought ties you down. So what should you do? When a hydrogen filled balloon is tied down by the ropes and pegged onto the earth, the balloon cannot fly up. At that time what should you do? The balloon is not flying up or these things are holding it down? This balloon is always looking up. It wants to go up. So what do you do? Just cut the, just snap the tie. Once you snap the tie, is it necessary to push it? When you snap it, boom, it goes. Effortlessly it flies because flying into freedom is his nature. Tying down is artificial. You have sent invisible strings of attachment invisible strings of dependence and got yourself tied down by the objective world. And then you are looking for freedom. And what do you say? They bind me. They bind you or you get yourself tied down. Long before you know, your mommy ties you down to few things. Your papa ties you down to few things. Your culture ties you down to few things. And then the process begins how to untie. <laughs> Are you getting that? They tie you down. Then, then they say what? The object is holding on to me. Object holds on to you. That is where you look for yourself. When you look for yourself, suddenly you discover you are the happiness. Absolute. The same which has previously bondage the same thing becomes freedom. The same house where you are living in bondage, same house becomes your house of freedom. 
What is the distance between restfully jumping, restlessly jumping and restfully standing on the spot? You are restlessly jumping. And where should you go to restfully stand? Somewhere else, huh? Where you are jumping, same spot you stand. Now body is restless. So what should you make restful? Body is restless or you have made it restless? When somebody is pacing up and down, body is restless? Or you are restless? Now when you find you are restful, will the body be racing or pacing? Mind is driving you crazy or you are driving the mind crazy? Come on. It looks as though thought is driving you crazy because you don't know the nature of thought and yourself. When you see Atmanam, you know yourself. Finish. Now everything is innocent. Thought beautiful, body beautiful, peace. Everything is nice. Okay? The smart. Know yourself. Having told this, then it will say, Brahma Bhinnatva Vijnanam Bhava Mokshasya Karanam Yena Dvitiya Manandam Brahma Sampadhyate Udehi. So Brahma Abhinnatva Vigyanam Bhava Mokshasya Karanam. What is the cause of the Bhava Moksha? Brahma Abhinnatva. To be undifferentiated, undifferentiated. To be one with the undifferentiated Brahman Absolute. The word Brahman means Bruhatatva the Brahman. That which is the biggest. Biggest means what? All pervasive. There is nothing other. At all times, all places, in and through every object. Since this is consciousness, all times, all places, in and through everything, can you stand apart? That is why even if you don't want, you are free. That makes the job of the teacher so easy. In other exams, you may fail. There is a possibility of your failing. Because you may become a physicist, may not become a physicist. In this knowledge, there is no question of your not being the Brahman, the Absolute. Even if you don't want it, you are it. So there is no failure in this knowledge. <laughs> the biggest failure is teacher. Who makes everybody understand that is very, very difficult because he wants a business for the rest of his life. Everybody has to come and beg, teach me for next 20 years, you know. Why are you wasting your time? 20 years. Whew. You must understand it in one moment, then enjoy life for the next rest of the time. But for most, enjoying life is a crime. Oh, should not see this. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. No? Since himself has caught his tail, everybody also must cut his tail. Become rogues, you understand? Appreciate friends. You cannot escape being yourself. Even if you want sincerely, you may not become a physicist. Here, even if you don't want sincerely to be free, still you are free. That is what you see in yourself. We shall see more of it. Thank you.